Hey, Morning Mana family. Happy Monday morning to you all. Just a couple of weeks ago, we celebrated one of my favorite holidays and probably yours too, Thanksgiving. So many memories surround that holiday for many of us. Eating a yummy turkey, or maybe burning the turkey. Eating the most delicious dressing, or maybe you call it stuffing. Debating on who has the best pie. The Black Friday deals. I'll never forget my mom literally dozing off at the wheel for a split second after early morning Black Friday shopping. Not funny at the time, but we can laugh now. We literally shopped till we dropped or maybe dozed off. Thanksgiving for me and for many of you means fellowship with family, expressing what we're grateful for. It can also be a challenging time of year if you're in a rough season or grieving someone who should be at the dinner table. But nevertheless, we all have something to be thankful for. As my father-in-law says, I'm saved and going to heaven when I die, when someone asks how he's doing. We have a savior, Jesus, to thank for that. I know Thanksgiving is over for this year, but we should always remain in an attitude of gratitude, especially in this now Christmas season. It's a time to celebrate, a time of joy and peace. And that all starts with Thanksgiving. The Hebrew word for Thanksgiving is todah. And if I butchered that pronunciation, feel free to roast me in the comments. <laughs> todah means confession, praise, and offering. When we give thanks in the truest sense of the biblical word, we offer God our praises and acknowledge to Him that He is the giver of all good gifts. This week, I wanna go back to the basics, the simple things. Let's go back to elementary school and remind ourselves what we should be thankful for. Peter urges us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 to rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Let's take this week to remind ourselves what we should be thankful for and when we should be grateful. I hope you'll join me. See you tomorrow.